Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo all day, back to the video, and in this video, I'll be doing an overview of the Flash figure, this is the gold label, McFarlane online star exclusive figure, I'll be talking about the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture, and paint, and if it's worth your purchase or not. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, to support and I'll put the queue up today and watch videos like this. So let's take a look at the box, what the front of the box looks like, this side, the back, which I really like the art. The other side, top, and bottom. All right, now let's take a look at the figure outside the box. As always, we do come with a card. This is the front of the card looks like. The back of the card. And I'm going to show you the previous card for the original one, the one with the old glossy red. So this is the original card, the front of it for the original one, and the front of the card for the gold label one. And the backs are going to be obviously a little different, but everything else is still the same. All right, I just wanted to show you guys that. And it does come with accessories. It comes with lightning bolts. So as mentioned yesterday, I'll say it again. This is a one-of-a-kind, brand-new, never-before-seen lightning bolts. For those of you who don't know, that is sarcasm. Because we have one too many lightning bolts. If you are a DC Multiverse collector... Especially with the flash, you know what I'm talking about because there's a lot of these on here. So there's that. And the last one is going to be this one right here. All right. It does come with a regular black puck. So let's take a look at this figure, the gold label, the online McFarlane store exclusive figure. And yes, this is just a repaint, but nonetheless, it will still do an overview. So we'll start off with the articulation. I say it weirdly, articulation, because I got feedback on it. But hey, I'm improving. No offense. I'm not taking it personally or anything. I always want to improve. But there we go. There we go. Let's take a look at the head's articulation. Left to right is good. Up, down is good. Shoulder articulation, good. Bicep, good. Elbows, good. Wrists, good. And torso, back is good forward is not the greatest so there's that so overall the upper body upper torso as you say articulation is good overall so let's do the lower torso leg good knees good ankles good and toes good so overall the figure itself in terms of the articulation it's good overall now let's talk about the figure itself and as I previously mentioned on this version of it, and I'll say it again, I think the detail is really good. I did notice the difference in terms of the paint, and it's just the paint on the face. Of course, the main difference is going to be the body paint, of course. But I want to talk about the face paint because on this one, it has like a brighter lips. Actually, not brighter, darker lips, excuse me. The other one has a brighter lips, which I'll show you in a bit. But this one has a different lip color. It's not a big difference, something that I noticed. But everything else is practically the same. Of course, going to be, this is more like a matte look. Well, not really matte, but darker red. Not really red either because it, on camera, it looks like it's red, but it really isn't. It's kind of like a, I don't really want to call it red. It's like red mixed with like maybe brown, if that makes any sense. But nonetheless, so the paint job, it looks good. It definitely makes the yellow pop with this darker color. The base color, having it darker and having this yellow here, it makes the yellow parts really, really pop. Just look at the head detail and sculpture. The gold, that's going to be my downside to this particular version of this figure, is the gold. Because this gold is not as bright and as vibrant compared to the other one, which I'll compare it. And I'm bringing this up because throughout this whole entire figure, the gold would have been perfect if it had the same paint similar to that one. Because everything else on this figure... In terms of the paint, it's just darker, except for the yellow. But I feel like with that brighter gold that's on that figure, it would look so much better compared to this one. Because I think with this darker tone or base paint, with the bright gold, it would with the accents, it would look really, really good and really, really pop. And I think it would have worked very well, especially with the other yellow, which is unfortunate. And that's one downside I have to give this figure is going to be that paint on the gold accents. It should have been like a bright gold. Well, not really bright, but you get what I'm saying. Like a, lot, a little bit more brighter. I think it would have looked much, much better. But nonetheless, so it's still a good looking figure. You got some sculpture design here, a little bit on there. You got a little bit sculpture design there. 
Now, one plus side to this figure is having it base paint darker. You can see more of the texture detail on here. You can't really see it a lot on that red one because it's really, really bright. But when you notice it here with this darker base paint, you can see more of the detail here on the sides. Obviously, on the chest right here, you can see that Flash logo looks nice. You can see the indentations on here on the upper chest. So you can kind of see more of the detail of the sculpture design. Not a whole lot in terms of sculpture, but you appreciate the little details like all this texture right here. Very subtle, but it looks good though. When you look it up close, it's not just bread. We're just not like plain. It's smooth. It's a little bit of texture. And it makes it look good though. Can't hate on it. So overall, the upper body is identical to the previous one. The big difference is going to be the paint, of course. And in terms of the leg sculpture design, same thing as the other one, just clean looking, got the lines on there, but everything else pretty much the same as the other one before. It's a good, clean looking flash figure. And I really like this figure, really good looking one. And like I said in the previous video, I'll say it again, whenever I think of flash, I always think of flash with spandex. And this is exactly what I'm referring to because there is another version of this flash, which I'll show in a bit. It's a bit more armored like, and I'm not really into like flash armored and more of like a flash of spandex. But anyway, so the texture is similar to the previous one. Same thing with the boots as well, too. And like I said, the gold on here is not as bright as the other one. If this had that bright gold like the other one, I think it would have looked much, much better. And it just would have grabbed your attention even from a distance. It still looks nice, don't get me wrong. But that gold, if it was a brighter gold, I think it would have looked much, much, much better. But that's that, though. But in terms of leg sculpture design, it's clean looking. The boots look really, really good, in the, as well as the feet. So there's that. But overall, though, the figure, it's a good, clean looking figure. And I like it. But again, this is just repaint of the previous figure. So that's that. So, of course, the main question is, is this version of this figure worth it? Personally, I would say, yes, I actually like this one more than the previous one because the whole bright red, it doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just a little too much. This one is, I think, is perfect in terms of the, the base color being not as bright. But like I said, just having those gold acid be brighter, I think would have looked much, much better. But unfortunately, it's not. It's actually a little bit darker. So it's, it's that's that. But regardless of that, I think it's a good looking figure. Even the color, how it is, the color choices and the darker tones. It still is a good looking figure. It looks good. The articulation is good. Paint job is good. That face paint is really good too. So can't really go wrong with it. So for the figure itself, I give it a thumbs up. I really like this figure and this color and this version. It looks really good as well too. But of course... Is it worth the purchase price of $20? For me, for this repaint, just like the previous one, I think it's a good purchase, a good deal for $20. Bucks. Is it one of those you have to go out and rush and get it? Personally, not. Something tells me this version might go on sale for maybe $15. So it could be wrong, but I have a feeling it might go for, on sale for $15. But that's just me, though. But overall, though, the figure itself for the price gets a thumbs up for me. Here we have the two Ezra Miller figures, the Flash one from the Flash Movie Wave. This is the one I did yesterday, the bright red, and this is the one I just did right now. So in terms of the paint, of course, there's going to be a huge difference. One is going to be the base color. This has a bright, bright red, glossy. Then you have, this one has the uh, more darker red with a little bit of like a brown, if that makes any sense. But nonetheless, so in terms of the sculpture design, they are identical. The big, big difference is going to be the paint. Now, one I mentioned about the face paint. I'm just going to show you a comparison of the face paint. Hopefully, my camera can pick it up, which is not. Let me adjust it really quick. There we go. Not the best. You guys can see it. Oh, darn it. There we go. In terms of the face sculpture design, it's they're identical. It's just going to be the face paint. This one has a lighter paint on the lips, but this one has a little bit darker. But the face part... Of the actual cheeks, it's a little bit darker. This one's brighter. I don't know if yeah, my camera can pick it up or not. But look at the cheek on here. Very, very bright. This one, it's a little bit darker. So very subtle, but there is a difference in terms of the face paint. So keep that in mind. Let me put this back. And do the overviews. All right, there we go. So that said, in terms of the face paint, 
as mentioned the gold you can see it oh, i don't know if you guys can see it from this side there you go perfect okay i have to do up close again darn it it's okay though as long as i get there we go so look at the gold here and then gold here this one's a little bit brighter not a whole lot but it's a little bit just that difference in terms of brightness of the gold would look much better on here because i think with this darker base paint having this gold i think it would have popped a lot more you can see it more on here as well too again a little bit brighter compared to this one this is a little bit darker not a whole lot but again very subtle same thing here on the side so let's see if i can move hands you guys can see that so notice the difference in paint this one's a little bit brighter compared to this one not a whole lot but just a small difference makes a huge difference in terms of the the brightness i think it would look much better having it this gold so that's that and then here's the boot itself and again you can see the difference in terms of the gold very subtle but there is a difference though in that but in terms of the texture design and sculpture design they're both pretty much identical again the main main difference is just going to be the paint itself so the question is which one do you prefer if you were to ask me mondo which one do i prefer or can only choose one of these two i'm gonna go for this one less red but it looks good overall this one it looks good don't get me wrong i like this one too but if i, had, I can only choose one i'm gonna go for the gold label version here we have ezra miller from the flash justice league movie wave and of course the gold label make farland online store exclusive figure they both look good, but like I said in the previous video, I'll say it again. When I think of Flash, I think of like spandex, and this Flash is a little too much armored. I don't like the whole armor thing. I don't hate it, I just a little too much for me. But that's just my opinion though, but here we have from the Flash movie wave and Justice League movie wave. Here we have the Flash from the Flash movie, and we have Flash from the CW show. Now you can see here perfectly what I mean by the gold. The accent being gold and bright, it makes the figure pop. Look at this one. Just look at the belt on here. It just pops really, really nice. Even here, the little ears right here. That gold. I don't know if you guys can, can see that right now. But look at this one. It's a lot darker. But this one, it's a lot brighter. But yet the base paint, it's a little more matte and darker. But when you have the subtle accent gold and bright nicely, it looks really good. And I feel like with this figure, they should have done something like this. Where the gold would have been brighter. But... It is what it is though, but nonetheless, here we have CW Flash and again the Flash from the Flash Movie Wave. Here we have the Target Gold Level exclusive figure, Impulse, and of course Flash. And I don't remember if this is from a particular storyline or from a rebirth. I could be wrong. Let me know which version of this Impulse is. But just showing you how a movie figure looks standing next to a more comic accurate figure. They both look good. Again, when I think of like Flash, I always think of spandex, and this is a perfect example of what I mean by like a Flash spandex figure. Here we have Flash from the Injustice 2 wave, and of course the regular Flash. Man, I just noticed this one's huge. These big old arms, big old biceps. And the funny thing is, he doesn't really have big arms and big biceps. It's just because when you have these two Flashes standing next to each other, you can really see how massive this figure is. And... Just massive arms and shoulders and just big old chest. I think it's a cool looking figure, don't get me wrong, but you can just see the detail in terms of the sculpture design, in terms of the mass of this figure. But here we go. Here's two versions of the Flash figure. This is the Injustice 2 and the Movie Wave. Here we have all the figures from the Flash Movie Wave. Here we have Ben Affleck, Batman, Mike Keaton, Batman, Flash, Flash again. Dark Flash, Supergirl, we have the Flash, the Gold Label, Online Store, McFarlane Store exclusive figure, and we have the Target exclusive, Mike Clayton on Mass version. And these are all the Flash figures from the Flash movie wave so far. I say so far because with McFarlane, you never know, he might do a Gold Label variant of this figure, might, might be blue accent, maybe that Supergirl or one now, so you never know with McFarlane. But just showing you the all the figures from the Flash movie wave. And they all look really good. So if you were to ask me, are these worth it? Honestly, yeah, man. This is a really good line. Good figures overall. Sure, they're not perfect. I mean, you got Ben Affleck. Imperfection on the face. Mile Keaton, enough said. 
Both these flashes look really good. Dark flash looks good. Weird, but looks good. Supergirl's really good sculpture design. Just a head. We'll, we'll, we'll just, you know, put a bag over her head. <laughs> just kidding. Then we have this version. Still looks good. And of course, the unmasked version. Really good looking Batman. So like I said, these are all the figures for the Flash movie wave so far. But you never know with McFarlane. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with this figure? Do you plan to purchase this figure? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not support the channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. This includes an overview of the gold label the Flash figure from the Flash movie wave. This is a McFarlane online store exclusive figure. And on to the next one.